Hey YouTubers, so little chainsaw maintenance for you today, I have here a trusty 311 60cc saw, uh, it's one of the later model saws and it's a very good saw, it comes with a, a standard uh, 3 8 uh, pitch chain um, on 20 inch bar which this saw handles quite nicely and um, that's basically what I need for what I do for firewood and things like that and the odd, the odd tree things. Uh, I took down a, a five, oh, four to five meter birch the other day with it. Uh, so that was, that was really cool. It performed well, just loves it. But what I want to show you is um, just a bit of maintenance on here. Um, there's a bit of gunk and stuff like that. And so if you don't do maintenance on your saw, you can run into some pretty serious problems now I'm trying to find my screwdriver here it is right so I've taken as you can see I've taken the bar off bar nuts gone and the bar cover that's all gone it exposes this clutch area to the C clip and our um, clutch washer so I'm just going to use my screwdriver it's just a flathead and just remove that just make sure you keep a finger or two on that C clip because they like to go flying. And I just slowly, slowly take it off. Not any rush here. Some people can do it faster than me, but some people are better at doing this at me. Um, <coughs> right, washer comes off, C clips off, and because the um, chain brake's been released, and then lift this clutch or um, sprocket, drum sprocket off. Okay. That is starting to get a little bit of wear on the sprocket, but not enough for me to chuck it out. I don't know if you can see, but there's some um, slight indentations in there. Not much, not much, but when this goes, I'll probably be looking at replacing it with a um, 3 8 rim sprocket. And um, just so I can just replace uh, the, the rim sprockets rather than the whole clutch drum. And uh, maybe chuck an eight tooth on it or something for a bit of extra speed. Um, the trouble with that though is you lose torque, less teeth, more torque, more teeth, less torque. So you want to use your, um, your, like, your, your, your eight and nine tooth um, rim sprockets. You want to use them in your softwoods. Um, and then for your hardwoods you want to use a bit more torque so you will um, drop down to the 7 tooth but most people run 7 tooth um, 3 8 anyway all right anyway on with um, this you have now your needle cage bearing that's it there that is inside Just sits on this um, crankshaft here that's a that's the very tip of the crankshaft and so that goes there now we're at basically the bit of the maintenance that I wanted to show you. So before I carry on there, I'm just going to give this a quick blowout. Um, I'm not going to take any covers off today. Uh, I usually do go a bit further and make sure that's all blown out, but I'm not going to do that. Just for the length of the video, basically. So, I'll, just, excuse me, I'll just blow this out. I'll be back. Just as a side note, um, safety glasses wear on, so make sure you're wearing them when you're using compressed air, or anything that can fly back in your face like that. So now I'll just get one of my trusty rags over here, and I just want to clean out the rest of that as well. Just a bit of bar oil on there, just like to clean it all off, because that's the way I roll. Nice clean saw ready for work next time. And, um, you know, I'm not as anal as some people go. Some people go pretty nutty with their saws and put them back to pristine condition and all the rest of it. But that's just not me. 
I do work with these saws and um, saws get old and saws get worn and that's just the way it is. So, what's my bit of maintenance I've got to show you now that I've stripped down the saw and I've got it clean? Needle cage bearing. Alright, very important that you grease this because it creates wear and once this needle cage is worn, um, it, can, it, can, it can slop around so your, your sprocket, you put it on, it can slop around and slide around on there. And that can cause all sorts of problems. Uh, I've just recently fixed a uh, 261. And that 261 had that problem. problem. So the result is because of poor maintenance. New um, uh, clutch drum and new needle cage as well too. So we don't want that happening here. This is my saw. I love the saw. So I'm going to get my grease gun here and these are cheap you can pick them up at a hardware store um, wherever you are and I'm just going to apply I do three little lumps of grease around here um, some of the husky saws I've seen like my mates um, 3120 um, you can um, put the um, grease gun in here and squeeze it and there's holes inside the crankshaft that'll fill up your needle cage for you so on that note too, I'm just going to quickly blow out this needle cage just so it's good for you to be free. <clears throat> Put that on there, I like to give it a spin to get that grease all up and moving on that needle cage, like that. Right, just going to get a white rag. Wipe out the inside of that sprocket drum, so it's all nice and clean in there. It's a clutch drum. And to me, that is really, it's mainly actually got grease from me greasing the, probably greasing, over greasing the needle cage bearing. Yeah, at least my componentry is not going to wear out as that fast anyway. So look, it's all greased up now. I'm going to locate, there's a um, little notch here. On the side of your sprocket uh, or your clutch drum um, and I'm just going to locate that's um, this is what powers your um, worm gear which feeds your oiler so you gotta make sure that's in the right place and if it's not it just won't click in like it'll it'll just be a brick so you just you've got a mark on top here you can look down there you can see your your pickup for your need um, for your worm gear and it just fits nicely on same here, just give your washer a bit of a bit of a wipe. It's dusty in there, blow it off. Stick that back on. Right. Now I like to get a different tool for putting the C clip back on. When I put my C clip back on, you get the pliers there, needle nose. One side goes inside the hole in the end of the crankshaft and the other side clicks it on, easy as, it's not going to fly away. From here you can go back to putting your bar on and putting, doing correct tension and everything like that on your, um, on your bar and, and getting that all cleaned up. I'm not going to show you that today, I just wanted to show you this quick tip about um, the importance of uh, greasing up that needle cage bearing for the proper function of your saws and the longevity of your needle cage and your um, clutch sprocket drum. So that's it for me today guys, um, thanks for watching, um, comments are appreciated, like the video, share it if you want to, um, yeah, but all good, still for life, see you later.